If you've clicked on this video, you probably already know who Lane Staley is, but unless you're someone who just likes clicking on random videos on YouTube, let me give you the briefest of histories of who this man was and the final song that he ever recorded, and it was not a song with Alice in Chains. Stick around, this is Dancing with Ghosts. <laughs> Lane Staley, Jerry Cantrell, Mike Starr, and Sean Kenny formed Alice in Chains in 1987, eventually dropping hit records such as Facelift, Dirt, Jar of Flies, and Self Titled. All throughout this time, Lane Staley started flirting around with drugs such as heroin, which he sadly fell in love with. Staley would also contribute his vocals to other projects such as the grunge supergroup, quote unquote, Mad Season, featuring members from Pearl Jam and the Screaming Trees. Staley also lent his vocals on a heart record and a little known group called Second Coming. After Lane reunited with Alice in Chains, they would release what would become the last album that Lane Staley sang on. The album would release November 7th, 1995 and simply be titled Alice in Chains. The band went on an indefinite hiatus after this album, and Lane Staley would fade into obscurity, largely due to his drug habit taking over his life. Staley would make random appearances throughout the years, but largely remained musically inactive as his health worsened. Many described Lane as looking malnourished, sickly, and white as a ghost. Possibly one of the most tragic effects of Lane's drug use was that he lost most of his teeth and had a very pronounced lisp. This lisp can clearly be heard on the rare few songs that he sang after leaving Alice in Chains. This brings us to Lane's final song. In 1998, another supergroup called Class of 99, featuring Tom Morello on guitar, Martin Lenoble and Stephen Perkins from Jane's Addiction on bass and drums respectively, and Matt Serlectic on keys. They had wanted to get Lane Staley to lend his vocals on their one and only song, a cover of Pink Floyd's Another Brick in the Wall. This band was apparently formed solely to make a song for the 1998 teen horror flick The Faculty. Lane Staley, and possibly his most drug-fueled decision yet, decided to say, Yeah, sure, I'll do it. The song itself is not exactly a jam. The music is okay, with Tom Morello doing his typical guitar whammy theatrics. The rhythm section stays faithful to the original song, but the glaring flaw in this song is poor Lane Staley. Man, he was in no condition to sing anymore. His vocals sound tired, weak, and his pronounced lisp is blatantly obvious. The sad thing is, is Lane Staley would have completely shredded this song just five years prior with that buzzsaw powerhouse vocal. But here we find a truly diminished man who has literally become a shell of his former self. All because of fucking heroin. This is just really fucking sad, man. Like, I made a video last year about Phil Collins and how he should retire because of his diminishing vocal abilities. Well, that's because Phil Collins' vocal abilities diminish because he's old as fuck. And that's completely natural and expected. And, you know, none of us are going to get out of here alive. But when your vocal talents diminish because you make shitty decisions because you were never able to kick your heroin habit, that's just fucking tragic. And uh, soon after Lane Staley recorded this song, he went into further reclusiveness without being seen by the public for about four years until finally his body was found in his house uh, in 2002. He died at the young ass age of 34. Um, I, I can only um, fantasize about the music that he could have given us had he stuck around because by no means is 34 old and I'm sure had he was he able to if he was able to kick drugs they would have put out a lot more fantastic music uh, which they eventually did actually they got William Duvall to replace Lane but man you just can't replace that voice completely although William Duvall does a pretty damn good job but anyway uh, if you are a fan of Alice in Chains like a big Alice in Chains nerd maybe you've never heard of this song um, I would recommend it it's not bad it's just sad uh, but I guess if you can get over the fact that you're listening to a man who is in the last years of his drug-fueled existence, then you might be able to get some enjoyment out of it. But anyway, I hope you found this video informative. 
And uh, if you like, you can uh, subscribe, comment, like, and all that crap, ring the notification bell. And uh, rest in peace, Lane Staley. You were one of the greats.